Greetings, everyone. For today's Spiritual Food for Thought, in five minutes or less, I wanted to pose a question. Are you a celestial celebrity? Perhaps you were a star athlete in high school or growing up, and now you're what they call a custodial engineer, also known as a janitor. Or maybe you spent tens of thousands of dollars on a four to six year college degree, and now you're a family relations manager, also known as a stay at home parent. Or maybe, just maybe, you actually made it big in this life. Everything worked out great, and you're the real deal walking, talking celebrity that everybody talks about. Well, regardless of your history or your current occupation, the one question I still have for you is, are you a celestial celebrity? There are at least three types of celestial celebrities found in scripture. Daniel 12.3 reads, Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. This goes out to all the teachers, preachers, pastors, and evangelists out there who have done a great and outstanding job and gone through so much to share the good news of the kingdom with others. This section of scripture, as well as several more, indicate that a great heritage awaits those who have labored well for the cause of Christ. Another type of celestial celebrity can be found at Proverbs 19.17, which declares, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Elsewhere we read, Yeshua said to him, If you are serious about reaching the goal, go and sell your possessions, give to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come follow me. That's Matthew 19.21 out of the CJB. So we see here that kind deeds done for others, and especially those done in secret or in private, as opposed to those done outwardly in order to uh, make ourselves look good, these kind of deeds help boost our celestial bank account, so to speak. If you have tended to the needs of others, then you have basically tended to extensions of the Lord himself, and he will reward you for this. Finally, we have what I think is my personal favorite among the different kinds of celestial celebrities. At Luke 15, 7, we see Yeshua preaching, I tell you that in the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who turns to God from his sins than over 99 righteous people who have no need to repent. If you were living for this world, your flesh, or the devil, one day, and then unplugged, quote unquote, from that matrix and started living for God, you then became famous among the angels in heaven. That's the clout I'd be concerned about. Those are the likes I would be trying to receive. And so, back to you, the reader, or the hearer of this word. The question still is, are you rich and famous where it really matters? This life in this age is but a vapor. James chapter 4 talks about that. Life in the new age on the new earth, however, is never ending. Look, if I can be simple for just a sec. Yeshua taught that in the end, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. God's ways are not the ways of man and man's ways are not the ways of God. Our up is down and our down is up. Left is right and right's left. Uh, in the end, everything is going to be completely different. It's time we get our priorities straight. It's time we see things the way God sees them and that we care about the things that God cares about. And I'm telling you, this life is not where it's at. So bigger, brighter, better, all the stuff that uh, commercials, TV, music videos, all that stuff that we see that, that we're told and taught by media and by um, this world in general, it's not important in the big scheme of things. Um, so... Make sure you're rich towards God. Be rich, be wealthy where it counts. Be famous, talked about, and well-known where it really matters. And I'm talking about our Heavenly Father and His heavenly or celestial kingdom, which is coming soon to a planet Earth near you. That is my prayer for you. Be blessed.